Hello and welcome to Identify the Smallest Items. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna talk about ways to extract or identify the smallest two, three, four, five, the smallest n number of items in a list. Exercise one. In this exercise, we're gonna get warmed up with the small function. Now, if I was just looking for the smallest item or the smallest two items or the smallest three items, and I was able to change the sort order of the original list, I could simply do a sort and then look at the top three or the top two or the top five items. But in cases where I wanna preserve the original sort order and I don't wanna change things and I actually just wanna pull those values out into some other cells, then I can use a formula that uses the small function, equals small. The first thing we do is just point it to our list of values, comma, and then we define which position from the smallest. In other words, one would be the smallest, two would be the second smallest, three would be the third, and you get the idea. So in this case, we want the smallest value, so it's one and enter, and we get seven. And if we scan down the list, we confirm that seven is the smallest value in that list. Now that we're warmed up, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. In this exercise, we're gonna specify the number of items that we want, equals small. All right, again, we just point it to our list of values, and then comma. Now, in this case, we want the small function to actually return multiple results, like the first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth smallest, right? So in this case, we're gonna use the sequence function to generate that list. And we can just point it to the cell reference or we could just type the value manually. We close the sequence function, close the small function, and enter. And now we see we have a list of the smallest five items, or the smallest three items, or the smallest item or the smallest seven items, 10, and you get the idea. Okay, cool? All right, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise three. In this exercise, we're gonna use conditional formatting to identify the smallest five, four, three, two, one items. Now, just like in the last exercise, we use the small and sequence functions to generate the list of the smallest items. And now we'll use conditional formatting. But before we jump to conditional formatting, let's take a look at the logic that we're about to use. We basically wanna look at each of these items and determine if they're in this list. Now, there's a variety of different ways to do this. In this exercise, we're gonna use the match function, equals match. So basically what we wanna say is, is this comma found in here, comma, and zero for exact match. And I used absolute references here so that when I fill the formula down, it's not gonna update. Enter. And then I can fill this down, and what we're gonna see is, for the ones that don't match, we get an error. For the ones that are found in this list, we get some numeric value, which is the position. Since conditional formatting formulas rely on true or false values, we need to convert these errors and numbers into a true or false value. So what we'll do is we'll just say, is error and wrap that around the match function. And that's gonna convert this into true or false. And basically, conditional formatting will apply the format when this value is true. And so we need to reverse these. The way that we can reverse them is by simply wrapping a not function around all of that, and then we can fill this down. And now we can see we have a formula that returns true when this item is found in this list, okay? And this is the same exact logic that we're gonna use inside of the conditional formatting formula. So we can simply do a copy, we can highlight this range, and we can go to conditional formatting, new rule. And here we're gonna use a formula, I'm just gonna paste in that rule, pick a format, and we'll go with uh, fill of whatever, and click OK and OK, and now we've got it. And we can delete this. Now, this conditional formatting relies on this intermediate step, and if we were to delete that, we lose our conditional formatting. So instead, what we wanna do is just copy all of this, and I'm gonna go into the conditional formatting rules, and I'm gonna edit it, and I'm basically gonna say, instead of this, we're gonna paste in our formula. Now the other little detail that we need to worry about are absolute and relative cell references. So as conditional formatting is applied, B12 needs to stay relative, so we leave it. In this case though, B12 to B26 needs to be absolute. So we could insert the dollar signs manually or just tap the F4 key, either way is fine. 
and then sequence this C8, we want to lock that in as well. So we're going to make that absolute. Then we click OK and apply and click OK. And now we can remove this intermediate step. And now if we want to identify the smallest value, we can do that. The smallest three values, the smallest five values, and you get the idea. Okay, cool. All right, hopefully this helps you identify the smallest items in a list. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 